Talking to a customer can be a bit intimidating at times, right? Hopefully, today's video is going to help you guys see a little bit on how I do my um, paint correction estimates. What's going on, guys? God bless you. Carl's here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Without further ado, let's get started. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Carlos. Good to meet you Pleasure. on Pleasure. Awesome. Here's the wonderful, I feel like a rip off. You know. <laughs> no. Me, do you want me to back Yeah, let's pull it out really quick. Wow. So I cleaned it this weekend is when I realized it because none of these would come off. Yes, that is heavy. Oh, got some nice, just looks like tree branches. Ah, I was like, what in the world would have scratched that? Yeah, they definitely had fun with this one. And you can see. I tried to use there's a bird that dropping. Is. That's an etching. I tried to use some vinegar water here mm -hmm. to see if I could get rid of it, and it wouldn't. Come it it kind of like goes away, and then it'll slowly just start coming back. Okay. Yeah, I looked, figured out who owned it before. They're <laughs> lovely Carfax, and then they didn't change their Bluetooth name. So once I um, get to meet the customer, see the vehicle, kind of build that relationship off the get-go, the next thing is obviously is um, doing a test area, right? And for that, I always split my panel usually in half. One side is going to be a one-step. The second side would be a two-step paint correction, right? And as you guys will see in this video is obviously me doing that um, in that scenario, followed by obviously finishing that estimate. And now we're going to be talking to the customer um of what i'm able to provide and give them some numbers so they can have as a visual And it's always very important to do visuals because that's going to um, really put the customer at ease on why they called you, right? Are you able to um, meet their expectations of what they're wanting to do, right? So I always have tape with me. I always carry a Sharpie or a pen and I write on the tape uh, price number one. And price number two, this is what I'm able to achieve based off your your pain, of course, right? So it's very important to put your visuals to the customer's eyes <coughs> so they can truly see the value that you bring. Pretty much there's three options that you can choose from, you know, whatever you choose, it's really up to you. I'm not here to sell you anything other than just kind of show you what you're able to do to the paint or what I'm able to do. Right. Okay. Uh, so this is pretty much how it looked before. Right. Okay. So which has the scratches, the water spotting and all of that. So <clears throat> this is what we call a one step paint correction. Usually I remove about 60% of the defects that's in the paint. Wow. All right. This one here will run you about 650. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can definitely see maybe if you get on this side so the sun can hit it and you have a better visual. Um, oh, yeah. I can totally tell. So this I, is. I would be happy with that. <laughs> this is a one step. Okay. Within this one, there is still some light water spots that you will see. There's still, the, you'll be able to see a lot of these scratches mm -hmm. still in there. And then. This one here is what we call a two-step paint correction. It's a little bit more. Um, this one here is $800. Both of these packages would take me literally all day. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but this one is where we're chasing to the kind of like that brand new 
paint mm -hmm. um, and you can definitely see this one has cleared up even way better mm -hmm. much much better yeah i can tell the flakes everything is more like it's popping mm -hmm. i didn't even know this one had flakes <laughs> I don't I know anything about flakes. But <laughs> yeah, the, like the metallic, it. yeah, like it's so. Now. This one here will just bring just more of the true colors of the paint, pretty much. Um, it's a two-step process. Step one would be pretty much what we call cutting stage, mm -hmm. where I'm literally taking off everything that this paint could have. The second stage is the polishing stage, is where I'm bringing back literally the gloss back. This one here usually removes all these major these like light. tree branches and all of that. Okay. All right, and based off the readings, we're running really low. And I don't know, have you ever heard of like ceramic coating or anything like Actually, that? Actually, I did when I took my windows to get tinted this past okay. few Saturday. Yes. They told me about it. Mm -hmm. and, um, but at that point, I hadn't washed my car yet. <laughs> and I didn't know I had all these water yes. spots. Yes. So, so I didn't really <clears throat> listen to them a little bit. But. A ceramic coating, what that's going to do, it's pretty much like a sacrificial layer um, that's going to take the beating for you, for the paint throughout these years. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, it's not like of uh, like a shield or anything. It can still get scratched. It can still... But what it's going to do in return is just... One, eliminate you having to like wax your car every six months or once a year, however you do it, or having to apply like a paint sealant to protect it. Um, so there's uh, three types of year coverage, a three year. Uh, I usually just um, try to stay within a three year or a six year um, because I usually the most customers kind of stay with the I car. But if I take care of it and oh. not allow this to happen, would one time do it? Yes. Um, the amount of time I'm going to have this car. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then obviously the gloss, like the, the coating, what it will do also is just going to bring like more gloss. Like just make it like, it, it's crazy how ceramic coating works, but it takes your car to the next level as far as like gloss intensity. Mm -hmm. um, a three year, and this one here, the it's a 1500. That's going to include the one step pretty much polishing the paint and then putting the ceramic coating on top that one's going to give you three years of literally just really nice protection from uh, the coating i use is it's more um, stronger towards like water spotting and all of that uh, so you will not have like that trouble a lot it can still happen but if you maintain the coating you should have zero issues obviously we can't control where you park it and right. so because I, I never have had a problem <laughs> i've always parked in the garage yes work i don't park my street yeah cars. and then the second one is truly the one i kind of recommend on this vehicle because of the paint is really low because every time we polish we're losing a little bit of of clear mm -hmm. of protection uh this one here is going to be the six year coating that one is 1800 a little bit more it might be a little bit out of the budget but i i like to just make sure and let you know about it yeah um that one there what it's going to do in return the coating is going to give you about what we call two microns so once it cures the coating expands creating a like just another uh thicker layer on the paint uh that one will include the two-step paint correction i did see a couple like bird droppings where the it, it etched into the clear which is this one though i think is we that what that yes is? this one here so um, they just let it sit forever like yeah that. usually when they're at the car lots they just let them sit you know and they come like once a week rinse it off and that's it if they got it they got it if they did it you know so that burned into the clear mm -hmm. usually when a customer pays this substantial amount of money especially the 1800 the six year I'm able to wet sand some of those areas and just blend it in much better to where you won't even notice it's there mm -hmm. at no cost to you. Um, I did see your windows mm -hmm. had the water spotting. Mm -hmm. um, so I did a test area on the window where that's, that came off. that's gone. Would that be included in this? Place? Usually the paint correction is strictly working on the paint, right? Um, this one here, I can do everything, uh, usually to do glass, I usually charge like $500, yes, but don't worry, I'm here to, I'm trying to help you out as much oh, as I can. I'm already um, like, oh. Yeah, so, I can do everything, just all out, I would be wet sanding those minor areas, doing like a full two-step paint correction, 
windows um, taken care of, and obviously the ceramic coating. I can do everything for about 2000 It will take me, I'd say, a good probably two-day process. Um, you do have a garage. I don't know if you usually work from home, um, but that could probably make it easier for you where you don't have to leave your home. Yeah. And I would just come here and work on it. Um, but it would take me, I say two days. Mm -hmm. Usually I could probably knock it down in one day, but I'd rather not, I don't want to rush, especially this because it's already, we're working with so much. Um, so I don't want to make any, you know, bad moves on it. Um, but like I said, at the end of the day, it really falls down to what's more more comfortable, right? If you're comfortable with just a one step, and for what me, did really, you think it would look like if I did that because that's like a lot. Yes, Since if I just it, yes, out all this if money, uh, if you did which one? This six hundred or six it it would it would look like this. Would it get make that a little more? It'll minimal? blend it, okay. you know. But there, the eventually, what's going to happen is the one step comes with the sealant, but as it, you know, the elements change, whether you, you wash it, then the covering just slowly starts going away. Back? Eventually, very down the road, slowly, they will come back. Because pretty much just take it as a, I'm, I'm just doing like a, like, a, like a makeup, right? And when we take off makeup, then you kind of see a lot of the like defects mm -hmm. um, in the paint. Um, so eventually you'll see it, but it'll blend it, it'll hide it. But it won't be Will like those a. Those water spots come back too. The water spots they shouldn't, they shouldn't, um, because it it would literally would look like this for I'd say a good maybe for about a year, two years, depending if you maintain it, you should be okay, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but eventually, as everything, it's just the sealant. Mm -hmm. So is it the sealant has fillers? Just means it fills within the in the within the paint. But eventually, everything will slowly just maybe come back. Not saying it will. Um, but I just want to be very transparent, right? So the 800 mm -hmm. would be more like... The 800 this. will be this one here, where it literally, the scratches are mostly, like, gone. So probably wouldn't even see these. You won't see those, yes. When it's metal, I'm able to warm it up. I the see. plastics, I have to be real careful because plastic can burn. Mm. So some people will put, like, a buffer to it and maybe burn it. Um, but I'm always just very safe as possible. Um, this one here, like I said, it's a little bit more, but I think it will give you the results you're kind of wanting yeah. uh, without kind of breaking the bank. Yeah. Um, and Is then there like anything I can use on my windows to do myself. You can try. And that would save me some money. Yeah, no, no, for sure. You can definitely try. Um, I use, it's called Wizards. And you can try that and see, you know, how much you can get off of it which looks like this mm -hmm. metal renew but you use it on windows you'd think that it's only yeah. from right but i like to play with different stuff yeah well um, you know you do this yes stuff. and then that you just grab it with like a microfiber pad mm -hmm. and you know just have fun with it yeah. do it in the shade that way me i like to work in the sun just because i like to see it um but you know i'm all for saving people money so yeah. You can buy that and just do it slowly. If that's something that doesn't really bother you, then you're okay. Yeah. Glass is really just one of those that, you know, some people want it to look perfect, some I like others. It to look nice. Yes. At this point, the water yes. spots are the biggest. That's thing. your main concern. And then some of the scratches. Now yes. I'm seeing them more yeah. And more. Yep. So with the two step, I know for sure mm -hmm. it will give you the results you want that you like, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, the one step. Obviously, I can still make it. I can make it look really well, but there's still gonna be defects within the clear and the paint that you'll see. You know. So if I did the 800 and mm -hmm. I kept it in the garage, I washed it like I'm supposed to, mm -hmm. dry it and all that. I know it's not gonna be as great as this, but it would mm -hmm. it be yes. similar to the car I had before? Of course. I mean, I had a 2015. And yes. It still looks brand new. Yes, definitely. It would look really well. Um, and like I said, how do you wash it? Through the tunnel washes or well, do you... Well, wash Perfect. here and then sometimes I go through the tunnel washes. Okay, so the tunnel washes are great, um, but just know that those are the ones that create a lot of the, the marring, uh, the scratches, because those brushes are just spinning. So if I hand wash it? If you hand wash it, wash it, everything, you should not, you should never have that issue. Um, always, you know, if you're hand washing it, That'd be perfect. And then I usually say um, you can apply like what we call a topper, like it's a spray. 
after you dry it and everything you can spray it on there and that's just an extra you know just protection protect yes yes so you know like i said at the end of the day i'm not i'm not here to sell you anything just kind sure. of give you options um that would best fit for your clear um just know that in the future if somebody else polishes it they will be kind of knocking down uh -huh. a lot of that stuff um so that's where your clear is going to be diminishing right, right. Uh, but if you go the ceramic coating route it's a little bit more with the coating it adds that barrier to where once it cures it'll expand now you have about two microns more of protection let me ask my husband yes. if he wants to mm -hmm. invest in that yes it's a huge investment you know but either way any of these options that you would go with it would look your car it would make your car look good mm -hmm. you know and at the end of the day my job is 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 to care for your finances for yeah. mostly um, but do give you options that i feel are best fit for your vehicle at this time um, coatings are just one of those that it's like it's a lot of money mm -hmm. but for the right in, um, people it's perfect you keep it in a garage so the coating really could last you even more than what it's supposed to right. because it's never outside um, well it is a few you know some mm -hmm. work. yes yep but, so this is concerning to me mm -hmm. what what is that that's just uh Usually, Is that make my some go out faster? no, no, no. You'll be. It just means that the the um, the clear on these is just slowly, you know, just breaking apart. Some some headlights sometimes come with defects, mm -hmm. um, but that shouldn't. It That's won't make any warranty, difference. Is it? Because my car still under warranty. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you could probably take it, you know, and see if that's under under the warranty or. You know, but they'll probably just be like, oh, that's okay. That's normal. Because I think when I looked at it, I thought it was a crack. But then yeah. I noticed it was like that over here, too. Oh, you're having it on I top. I don't. Yeah, yeah it's not on this side. But a li oh, yeah, yep. Yep, a little bit. But, you know, it still looks it still looks good. You wouldn't be concerned about that. No, I wouldn't. I'd be concerned you if it's. You notice every little thing because of what you do. Yeah, I'm just, it's just one of those things that I'm just like. <laughs> It, it, I'm just very like meticulous and detailed mm -hmm. about things, but that's not really nothing major that you should worry about. Okay. Um, but you know, other than that, the the chrome does get polished. Eventually, by the time I'm done with this car, you'll be like, whoa. <laughs> I but, just need to find out if my husband wants to invest in the ceramic or mm -hmm. just do the polish. More than likely, it's probably going to be this one because yeah. I want those scratches to be yeah. minimal. Yeah. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, just, you know, conversate with that and see what is going to best fit. The ceramic coating, it's pretty much like just a new thing, um, eliminating to having you to, to do this process mm -hmm. every year, you know. So that $800 thing I'd have to do every year? No, you should oh, be okay. okay. Like a lot of customers, they'll tend to wax your car. You, they wax your car every six months, right? Waxes nowadays, like for me, it's $300 and I wax the whole car. Right. Some customers make me go to their house every six months or, wow. you know, Those people with nice fancy cars, probably. <laughs> and then or <laughs> once a year. I hardly did my other one. Yeah. I mean, I would do it sometimes through the tunnel. Yeah. And add the wax mm -hmm. to it. That's have good. That. But really, it's more important um, to do a physical uh, because our process is pretty much like when you exfoliate your skin. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing to the paint. Oh. So we're cleaning the paint. We're taking off all everything so that the paint this has. In another year or so, I could do the just the wax. Call you out to have a wax job. Mm -hmm. We could we could do just the wax uh, at least once a year, and you should be good to go, right? Okay. Uh, but just some customers don't like to do that, and they're like, "Bro, just just do the whole coating, and I don't have to wax the car ever again." Yeah. Right for five years or six years, whatever the coating is, right? But if I did this fifteen hundred dollar mm -hmm. coating, that takes you two days. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So this one will take me about a day because uh, it's literally this here, and then as soon as I finish that part, then I will coat the car. Okay. The uh, this one here, the two step. Okay, make... That's where I'd say I'd want to have the car at least for two days, okay. so we don't rush anything. I yeah. <laughs> just take my time. Um, but the end the end goal on this one is always great. And like I said, um, on this one here on the two step, I'm able to, you know, since you're spending a little bit more. I'm able to play a little bit more with those types of areas where I can blend those um, those areas and you should be okay. Um, but, you know, either way, I think it's gonna turn out good. Unless these scratches are too far gone into the metals, then, you know, it'll just blend it. Okay. Um, but I'm pretty good at try probably getting all these, these things looking pretty good. <laughs> I just can't believe they took a vehicle like this and treated it that way. It just hey, blows my mind. It happens. <laughs> Life. 
Well, it has a lot of tree branches, that's for sure. Yeah, it's like, I wonder that? if the kids were like, it's not just. Like this is a four wheel drive and you <laughs> want four wheeling in it. That's You'd be surprised. Some people, they legit try to have fun with it. <laughs> well, I wouldn't doubt it looking at the people that have mm -hmm. this before. Yes. So um, then I just need to figure out what I want to do, call you or text mm -hmm. you and make yes. an appointment. Yes, and what I'll do is I'll text you the pricing. Okay. Um, that way you have it as a visual. Um, and then obviously, like I said, if the windows were a major thing, then $2,000 would literally make your car look brand new. That'd be the windows, uh, removing the water spots. Uh, a two-step paint correction on your paint with uh, the six-year ceramic coating, which is just more protection on the paint. Just because of the readings, we're already low. So I'd rather protect it nicely um, than just keep trying to diminish the clear throughout the years as you maybe do stuff like that. But like I said, it would turn out really well. All right. All right. Because now we got to get tires too. I was like, these tires aren't going to last. So it's like one They'll thing probably last you one more winter and that'll be and done. That'll be it. <laughs> yes. Well, and I want it to be nice. Yeah. Oh, no. It, it, it's, it has flakes in it. So this thing would definitely um, drastically change for sure. Wow. Yeah. Because okay. you have, it has the, the, the flakes in that paint that is just, it's not flat blue. So when the sun hits it, like you get all that beautiful like and I paint. guess it's just so dull and covered in water. Yeah. Now you don't see it. Yes. It's reaching that stage where it's like, there's life in this, okay. but we need to take it all out and then bring it back to its original, you know, it probably would look better than how it was when, when they bought it. <laughs> well, I hope so. Now I just got to figure out what we're going to do. Yes, for <laughs> sure. Um, I see the plates. Here. Yes. Yeah. So it's on. where it wasn't so damaged maybe yeah yes but no it'll it'll this thing would look really well it's just from this already to just you know even you'll mm -hmm. be okay well thank you so yes much. no yeah, thank you the, the numbers again <clears throat> and then i'm gonna talk to my husband yeah for sure um i'll probably write like a invoice that okay. way you can kind of see it on there uh right now um i'm available literally all next week uh, in the following, so I'm pretty open right now. Um, but you know, uh, I'll send you. It's not a rush, but yeah, that sounds good. Yes, I always tell customers the sooner the better. That way, just the paint doesn't really take a beating. Oh, I didn't even see on this. Saturdays? What is it? They burned through that. I don't. What is that? So they hit something? Probably. Wow. So would that be repairable too? Sadly, I don't. I don't do that type of work. What is it? It looks like it's they rubbed something or something literally scraped to the paint right. Uh, yeah. Wow. But I don't notice it as bad as I notice all the other. Yes. <laughs> My eyes are just. <laughs> it just makes me want to. Oh, it makes me so mad. I cannot believe I failed her something like that you know you know it's sadly i wish sometimes dealerships could do a little bit better on present on presentation mm -hmm. you know they wanted to sell it because i never would have dreamed it was all that, that yeah no well, as long as you got a good deal for it then i don't know about that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. awesome well i do appreciate your Thank time you. it was and a pleasure I will definitely be in touch yes and if you watched to the very end of this video, thank you so much. I hope today's video kind of helped you guys out a little bit, kind of seeing how I do things. Was it perfect? No. <clears throat> Did we get a sale at this time? No. But I feel very confident that the customer is definitely going to give me a callback uh, to take care of their vehicle. Um, as you guys saw, obviously, uh, you have to be very transparent in this business. You have to let them see the value that you bring right and giving them different options is best usually three options is good that way they have th you know they can compare <coughs> your most uh, entry level paint correction up to your best of the best packages right um, but I hope today's video uh, kind of helped you guys a little bit kind of see how I do things was it a perfect video no was it a perfect um, process no we all um showcase our work differently right maybe what i said 
might not work for you, right? But this is all a process for you to kind of just at least see and then put it into practice. So hopefully, if you've been struggling a little bit on maybe getting or selling more corrections or really closing the deals, maybe this was something that you were probably missing is giving your customer a visual with prices so they can see exactly what you uh, as a detailer can bring them. Anyways, God bless you guys. We'll catch you guys on the next video.